If you like the thought of indenting whiskers, eyelashes, and bits of fur texture into your animal portraits, but you don't have an embossing tool, here's an extract from a recent tutorial where I share a simple technique that you can use instead. If you don't have an embossing tool or if your embossing tool has an end that's too big and you want to go even finer with your whiskers, try this. And I've only recently sort of worked this out. I needed to get some whiskers or some eyelashes that were thinner than the, the smallest embossing tool that I've got, that one. And I hadn't got anything that would uh, go small enough, but a pencil and it's got to be uh, a quite a hard pencil. This is a 2H, I would say at least a H. HB might be okay, but the softer you go, once you start getting a B on the end of the pencil, it's going to be too soft and you're not gonna be able to keep that lovely sharp point on the end of it. I'm gonna take a little bit of tracing paper and I'm gonna put it over the top of the drawing and where the, uh, the eyelashes are, either the eyelashes or the, um, the whiskers, I'm just gonna go over them with this pencil. I'm gonna press on really quite hard. Not hard that it breaks the pencil, but hard enough so that I can see the little indent in the paper. There you, go. you can see the little indent in the paper there. And that's going to do exactly the same as the embossing tool's done, but on a much sort of thinner scale, on a smaller scale. So the whiskers are in there now. So they're gonna be much thinner than using something like the embossing tool. I would say use a H pencil rather than your polychromos because I found the polychromos, um, it, it just breaks, the white polychromos breaks. I know a lot of people use a white polychromos to put the indents in. My own experience is that to try and get the whiskers thin, the polychromos pencil just breaks on the end. So I end up having thicker whiskers than I want. If I want really thin whiskers like this, I find the H pencil and the tracing paper, or any paper, but the tracing paper obviously allows you to see through so you know where you want to put it. I find that's really, really useful to, to use that. And that's it. Really hope you found this tutorial useful. All of the projects you've seen in the tutorial today, you'll find over on my Patreon or in the art membership. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.